Yo, so what's going on, guys? It is Pwn. I just woke up. I'm still tired of shit, but I gotta get in here and do a commentary. Not because I want to, but because I have to. YouTube money. What's up? So, uh, anyways, anyways, I wanted to talk about something today. This is an unusual topic because anyway I try to announce it, I'm gonna sound gay. So, we're just gonna go in there and say that what I look in, or what I look for in another commentator. Yeah, I, I don't feel comfortable saying that. It seems like it's like some, some Match.com kind of survey or something right now. It's just extremely unusual. So what I look for in another commentator is obviously the simple ones. It's got to have beautiful, big blue eyes, uh, luscious lips, a great smile, and of course, dead ass. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just fucking around. It's an early morning. you know. I'm just, I'm just dicking around. You don't need any of that stuff except for that ass. But one thing that I do need to announce right off the bat before you guys saddle up and hop aboard your Black Ops 2 killstreaks that you guys need to understand that everything I talk about in this video is entirely my opinion. It's not fact. It's just what I feel. And you're going to have to understand that you're going to have a different one or possibly the same one. And if you have the same one, yo, what's up? Bro hug. All right. So in the... <laughs> Uh, this is my tactic. Apparently, I saw a wall where I can cover both sides of the spawn on the right spawn. So I decided, you know what, we're going to hop back and forth uh, <laughs> and play the wall. Like I said, this game is really, really involved with cover and teamwork. And we'd lose the shit out of this game because no one was helping me with the objectives. Especially this penis-looking one right here. But anyways, you know, what I look for in another commentator is entirely different than what a lot of people do. I And I don't know how this reflects. You guys may have to tell me. Um, I'm not trying to be mean or cocky, but I'm I'm a great gamer when it comes down to first-person shooters, whether or not it's Call of Duty or Battlefield. So I, of course, have my own strategies, my own things, my own perks, and I know exactly what I'm doing. And if anything, I teach occasionally. I, I tell people what I use. I, I like to learn people a few things. And so so people that do gameplays that uh, revolve around... Um, I guess, you know, teaching or talking solely around the commentary, like this guy right here, he just tackled me to the ground, this invisible motherfucker, just tried to uh, take all of my data, this guy right here goes ahead, he turns it around, he takes his data, I stand the fuck back up, put a tea bag down on his face, and go right back to doing what I was doing. I don't understand what people see and people that narrate exactly what's going on in the gameplay, you know, I'm, I'm watching it, bro, you don't need to tell me what's going on. You imagine, like, if my wife came in the door every fucking time it's raining, there went another drop, another drop. Oh my god, my bush is wet. Actually, no, that one would be a good one. I'd like for her to use that. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to encourage that one from here on out. And um, <laughs> it, basically the idea is that I, I, I pretty much am only entertained by personality and commentary. Those are the two things that I think somebody needs to have to be unique. Um, anything that you guys may think you're, you you could do now is just completely null, void, doesn't matter. Anything you can do at Call of Duty or Battlefield, I can too, as well as another thousand motherfuckers out there. There's nothing you could do gameplay-wise to make yourself unique anymore. So when I look at a commentary, what I look for and, and what appeals to me it's mainly humor, and if it's not humor, it's got to be some sort of unique storytelling ability like Boo Man. Then you got other guys like Sketchmaster, you've got, you know, Eat My Diction, who are naturally funny guys. I don't give a fuck what they post, but they post some funny stuff, and they are unique. If they can make me laugh, they're going to make me come back and watch their videos. So I guess what I really look forward to um, in, in in a commentator is, is the, the ability to entertain, which... Like I said, that's that's what everybody's looking for. And, and and when I see somebody talking about what guns they like to use, why they like the heavy barrel, or their kill streaks, or how they managed to just get a triple kill with the ACR, which I just witnessed, that to me is not unique. If anything, that's boring. I, I I'm not impressed by you know people that commentate like that. I think every, the creativity is the basis for all of it. Therefore, you need to be unique. You need to be creative, and you need to do that with your commentary. That's how you should entertain people, in my opinion. That's how you got to do it nowadays. If you think, you know, just being a great gamer doesn't do it anymore. For those guys that are just trying out YouTube, understanding what's going on, being a great gamer just does not do it anymore. you got to have some extra unique ability. And in reality, you know, I'm not saying I'm great or special. I don't understand what people see in my com uh, commentary. I know I get random and goofy, but I don't understand. I don't think people will stay beyond six months watching my videos because maybe it'll get repetitive or boring. 
But the one thing that I enjoy reading the comments from my fans is half of the comments are people taking random fucked up quotes for my videos. You know, they'll be like, you know, that's what it is. It's going to be like, blah, 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 in quotations, Pwn Star. Like, I said that. So half of the comments are, are funny things that people liked about it, or saying, oh my god, I laughed so hard at this one. I like seeing that in the comments. That makes me feel like I'm doing something and I'm making an impression on these people. And, it, and half the time it's not even that. Half the time it's like people come back to see what I'm going to say next. Like, they get shocked, and, and they have no clue what's going on. And that, that, that is part of what appeals to people, the, the ability to uh, make people want to come back want more and more and more. And it's, it's the fact that it's elusive. You never know what I'm going to do next, and that appeal right there is something unique. And I love seeing it. Half the comments are also not only just, like, something funny I said, but, like, oh, my God, don't skip to 556. You'll see two dudes, you know, getting it on right now. And I think that's hilarious. I think that's hilarious that, that most of the comments on my videos are something funny that I said or something that lasts and sticks with them, something that they noticed out of the ordinary. And that's one thing that I really appreciate from my fans is when they do that kind of shit. You know, I, I just like to dick around and have fun. That's how I'm unique. I don't care if I'm a good gamer. I don't care if you're better than me. I don't care about any of that shit. All I care about is having fun and trying to entertain. And I guess, seriously, somebody that has the ability to make me laugh has the ability to make me come back to their channel and want to watch more of their content. I, I completely believe the fact that gamers and gaming, uh, skilled Moabs, crazy-ass defensive strategies, none of that shit appeals to me anymore. And I don't know if it's just because I could do it myself, so it's, you know, why bother watching it if you could just go do it? But it's it's more along the lines of, you know, there's there's something else extra. I come on here to laugh. I come on here to see something entertaining, something different. But that's about it, you ballbags. It is Pwn, and we have had a little bit of a talk about what I find in the same sex, but uh, unless you are a female, obviously, use those tits like crazy, because you may not gain respect, but you'll gain views. Yeah, hey, girl gamers, hey. You, could do, you do click those thumbnails. You just have to, out of curiosity. You don't know why. You know the boobs are really not going to change. They're the same ones from the last video you clicked. But they may be less covered this time. Hi, Cleavage. Hi.